quickly. It's now a 1v3 for Formal. He at least has Mountain, so he'll be quiet. Challenges the first. It'll be two spots the second. He nearly desperately need to win this round. You see Karma, he's trying to hunt down Decimate. Crim6 is actually going to be able to pick that one up. So Ricky found himself in a 1v2. Both players coming up front, but the double challenge is good. They did not body stack. One player flies over top. The other stays close. Easy wins in the end. But again, the streaks will be there, there for Era. That's the takeaway. It was a round that they had gotten first splitted. They went into a two on three. Four streaks getting called in, but now it's a 2v4. The streaks don't kill anybody because he died while calling it in. And now all of a sudden the bomb's down, but Decimate's in the 1v4, able to pick up one, but he's got to go to the bomb, and there's just wow. nothing you can do at that point. Barrow was Ooh. critiqued quite a lot by fellow pro players yesterday for his streak uses, and I think you can say that was another questionable one there. Optic Gaming, the second they hear the score streak called in, they recognize Pharaoh, who was one shot behind the bomb, is all they have to kill. If you didn't know at home, when you get killed while controlling a score streak, you lose the ability to control it on the map. Five first bloods to the two of Optic Gaming so far. Woo, that challenge from Formal. Knows he has that cover as Pharaoh tries to hold the deep angle. It doesn't work out there. As soon as Skump was stuck, so now Karma is 1v2. He doesn't plant the bomb, hops off, wins one. Makes things interesting. Crim6 and Skump. Because Skump won the gunfight on a gunless inside A, he will get a free plant. Crim will have to rotate on over. You'd expect Crim to try to just hold, you know, Skump's flank, and Skump can hold the rest of the front. He just needs to get here in time, which he will. Yeah. He's marching on over, just watching the mid cross. He should see Methods cross jump. Doesn't actually have the angle to see it. He sees nothing. Skump getting challenged. Skump will have to try to back on down, but him playing his life right there is so key. Only 20 seconds left. Ember takes seven and a half seconds to defuse the bomb. Rise Nation's hand is forced here. So it looks like Looney will play in this close side corner. They're just baiting him on the bomb. Someone's going to have to come fly in any second. Not going to happen. Optic win the round. Good job controlling the 2v2. Krim gets there in time. Skump, probably the key player there, just playing his life and also winning the gunfight earlier to get the bomb down. Krim then comes up big when he needs to. Two nice kills to close it out. Which to see Looney snipe, snipe Skump on the A cross. Rise should flood this site now and go for a plant almost instantly. Oh, but Karma nades gunless. Karma nades gunless, so the bomb drops. Optic Gaming know it, and just like that, the entire round just collapsed. That smoke allows him to get a kill while isolating the first player in TJ. Now they just push him. And now Methods by himself in a world of hurt, and he gets dropped. Huge nade by Karma. Gunless, who just tries to rush from top middle, as you expect, because Skump is job for Optic is to hold that lo lower dock's play. Ah! Hits the nade, and middle of that, he outguns TJ Haley, because TJ, of course, is the furthest pushed up. God forbid he wasn't. You gotta hit that shot if you're loony. I know it's a tough one, but in this one on three, that's your chance to come into this game. He's got Mountain on, but with a sniper here. Oh, not gonna happen. I, I will say this. This is Optic Gaming adapting very quickly in this search and destroy. They lose the first two rounds, but here, they just read two or three kills in a row where they were expecting TJ and Gunless to push forward. Krim gets that counter trade to make it a three on three. Trump doesn't trade it. Gunless got both the kills in this round. Formal should be able to do it. Now a two versus two. Did he, he spot see Methods? Ah, oh, doesn't see him. Methods should have his number momentarily. Oh, God, they're both getting some interesting timing here. <laughs> Which he will. He's going to have to try to guess. He saw him go in there. He saw him go, and that's going to get two. He spotted TJ. And Looney, who thought he was obviously not seen, unfortunately gets caught in the crossfire. Yeah. That is the best case scenario. When four players are running Mountain, Krim now has 13 kills. He has the bomb. There's the kill. Fist bumps around for Optic Gaming. As this is turning into exactly what we want in this series, a close hard point, a back and forth search and destroy. Final kill cam there for Formal. I think it's the same. Higher, higher. Higher. <laughs> oh gosh, Looney not expecting Krim to re-challenge while weak. He gives up his cover and pays the ultimate price because of it. Krim 6 now up to 14 and 5. There's this two, series there's two. has been there's two. for him. Krim can't get another, but the kill's at 15. Gunless got stuck by Scum. Sorry, Gunless. And they know exactly where TJ is. Krim at 15 and 6. Does it.
Oh my goodness, Skump with the Kobe will stop TJ on his streaks. That might be the biggest kill of this map. It certainly could, but Optic still three players to eliminate. Formal set up here by B-Dom. You see on the minimap, you've got the top. That's Methods watching the flank. But as you can see here, nobody playing for that position right now. So you have a three on two, at least if you try to already take this A side, if they decide to push in. But as of now, patience from the Rise Nation side. Krim watching the flank. Formal, he's going to be the one to try to... Oh, this is just too perfect for Formal. Gunless is there. Gunless now one shot. They know where Methods is too. Krim getting into position. He should have methods here in a moment. Nice shots. He gets weak, but able to finish it. Last player is going to be gunless. And this is a round 11, a tight hard point, and even closer search to destroy. Krim versus TJ. You got to think one of these guys got a big play to close out this game. This is what I love, baby. Game one was close. Game two was close. What was <laughs> Yeah, now you can. There you go, bud. I would expect him to just fire this down in towards beer. And there's two players there. He might have a chance for a kill. Also, do, does Skump push based off of this? Can he hit Gunless? If he tries the pepper side, can he hit Gunless? That'd be the big player to get. He's hit him twice, and there he picks him. Gunless drops, bomb drops, Crim 6, now at 17 and 6. I Watching the cross, oh, that's this is nice. perfect for Skump. And Skump may have a couple of easy ones soon. Formal with his second snipe of the round. Skump with a free kill in front of him. Oh, oh no. Oh! <laughs> It was, a, it was free. I knew it was free. <laughs> okay. For the people at home. It looks awkward for a moment, then he's like, hold this. Yeah. That's one way to get it done. <laughs> he hit him in the wrist. Uh, imagine that's how you die. <laughs> You're a formal. He had nothing in front of him. Karma making plays. Accuracy, though. Would have to pull off the one versus three. And Not Scump gets some nice timing there, picks up the kill. Three in that round, I believe, for Scump. Yeah, the focus on bottom middle pays off for Optic Gaming there. He traded a kill with Theory, I believe. Helped Karma get the second, and then accuracy gets spotted by the sniper of Formal, and Scump removes him. And Chino should be dead. Whoa! Oh, able to hit it. Now, that, that can be wall banged, that wall, but oh my goodness, Chino. <laughs> Look, Formal's ready for it this time. He's holding the breath. He's flirting with death. Waiting, waiting. Oh <laughs> my gosh! <laughs> Gino, so close to death many times. Okay, now look, you're not getting away with this over and over, Gino. Oh, imagine if Gino then just ripped him right there. That would have been such a funny battle. Up against accuracy, Gino in theory. 17 seconds left. Theory should be dead. But now it's formal all by himself as Karma gets eliminated. Well, he's at least able to pick up an FG. Gino has just shoulder peaked this back. Flat area for the last minute and a half. And Ch Chino's wasted half of Formal's round. Oh my, oh my god, 1v1. Formal's brought it down to a 1v1. He knows where Chino is. And he knows Chino's gonna have to check this bomb at some point. Chino's gonna get panicked. He's gonna push on forward. Formal's here holding the angle. Formal with the kill on to Chino. And the clutch with the final three kills. You see the smiles there for Optic Gaming. I mean, he gave he gave accuracy. Accurate. What did accuracy just do? Yeah, let him give him a haircut. This round is done. Kenny, just not enough time to work with. Tries to fly out. Yeah, his only chance there is somehow fly out, <laughs> snap on one, other challenges. Scump's controller needs to be unplugged. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he, his, only chance, <laughs> his only chance there is literally if both players are standing on top of each other. There was you, you would have had to have a real poor play from Optic to somehow lose that round. <laughs> Love four massive ego. <laughs> well, maybe feeding the ego here if they can keep this going. But just a one round lead right now. Scump trying to come out and make plays. Tags up Theory as well. Had some bullets left in the clip. Theory trying to hit the snap onto him. Not able to do it. And that's round number five. That Rocket challenge sh scums, uh, sums up Scump's ego. Theory <laughs> 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 sniping. Eh, forget it. <laughs> just flies out. Hits the shots. Uh, no, that's that, that's a one that he just kind of goes for, and it pays off there. Theory was trying to hold the angle, but again, Optic now up five to three. Another question here. Do you want to maybe let Chino plant and get the kill in the defuse? You're very close to streaks again. Yeah, actually, that's true. If you let Chino plant and then get the defuse, maybe the game is over. Oh. <laughs> I'm thinking about how he's close to you streaks jackass. again. <laughs>
<laughs> All I can think is he's on his second five streak, and maybe he'll get streaks this maybe time. Maybe Foo needs a nap. Yeah, I'm yeah smart. Hey, hey, I've had a head cold for a week. <laughs> yeah, jeez. There's a there challenge. And look, he's going to get to the few. This was so smart for Scump. Yeah, he has his streaks for game three. Oh, my God. There oh. we have it, folks. Scump <laughs> drops 12 and 4. Come a bait out a couple of nades before he tries to put that bomb down. Has he been seen when he crossed? He has. And that's a beautiful jump shot from Formal. Pure headshot there on Aqua. Now the numbers in favor of Optic Game and the bomb is down as well. Formal taking the back foot. He doesn't need to be aggressive. He's got that long range sniper. Doesn't connect with Facento. And count yourself lucky Facento. Not one, not two. Finds it on the third on Assault this time. No one on the bomb. And this time Karma's going in, taking, uh, almost stealing Formal's kill away from him there. <laughs> and this is the problem. When you get the bomb down over towards A, if you're trying to re take that site you have to respect that there's probably going to be a sniper at the back of the map formal obviously feeling confident misses a couple of shots challenges again on the third and connects uh, and record fox maybe you've got to be a little bit quicker there as you try and retake that site but it is ultimately optic gaming that take the second round i'm all tied up one round apiece favoring themselves and is the bomb going to be heading to where yes the dive comes in and for now he'll be safe can he hit the oh. connection oh. definitely repositioned <laughs> behind the bomb i like that from Vicenzo. <laughs> Vicenzo was like what the hell's happening but there is the grenade kill comes through from Karma. Formal gives him the call out. Missing with death, if you will. He knows Pacento is by that B site still. That should be the kill, but no! Unfortunately, caught timing! But <laughs> when you've got accuracy like that with a quick scope, cut timing doesn't even matter. No one on the bomb, and we're going to see Aqua just play his life, try and go for streaks, and that's not going to work. Nope. Up to gaming, hunt him out, make sure that that streak that he was currently on. He will no longer be on in there. So look at the bronze star from the round. It was scumped to clean him up with the submachine gun. Nicely done from him. And his assault left in a one versus three. Makes it a one versus two. Can he somehow shut down Scump and make it a 1v1? Will not happen. Off to gaming again. Stay alive in search. Now the 5-3 down. Can they, uh, can they really put the nail in the coffin? Can uh, we see the dominating performance of Hardpoint turn into a search and destroy, which Echo for I believe Denz is popping that bomb down. Oh. No. Krim backs up the second two. Brilliantly done. A 1v3 previously. Can he do it this time? Finds one. Not going to find the second here is Optic Gaming. They strike in round number five and take the lead here in the search and destroy. Three to two. A lot of FG42 action right now between both of these squads. I believe there's upwards of seven on the map right now. Right with uh, Tactical going out there. Does connect, but it's all down to him. He's going to fall. And a very clean round for Optic Gaming there. Uh, precise. No risk. Listen, if you're going to let Formal get towards that uh, those water stairs of the sniper and just have that positioning on the map where he can look at the for Mind Freak at B this time, they're putting three down into A. Formal's taking down Buzzo. Optic Gaming about to run a train through them right now. And Formal, look at this. He's flying around. He's having fun. Finds one. Going to be traded out, but a 1v3 now. He's uh, narrowed down a little bit to a 1v2. Definitely doable, but when you think of Krim and Karma, they'll push together, they'll stick as a group. Surely not. Uh, he's dead. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 he, he just picks one side, reloads at a spot where he can easily be seen. Either way, Optic 5 to 4. Judging by this, Denz and Buzzo, can we see a 2v4? Formal, There's one. Formal's water stairs. Never count them out. Formal and Karma. Karma does have the bomb, so he's not going to go retrieving that. Saw shocks. Oh, oh that's fell. unfortunate. Formal, Karma, 2v3. This time they stun him. Karma's sneaking by because he's got mount. 2v2. And he spotted shocks. They know exactly where they are. And look, they both have mountains, so they can get around sneaky. They really can. Formal as well would be catching one off guard. He's got to be He's got to go head first straight into it. A 2v4 is now a 2v1. Optic Gaming. Where to be found? Buzzo's getting beamed through the walls well. Buzzo needs to pick up a kill before he goes down here. You can see Shock's trying to find his way to the path and now with a 1v3. I don't think it's planned for him. That's just one. That's the moment. That's the moment right there. Where Optic now found some life in this series. One to one. You cannot lose maps like that for Mind Freak if you want to beat Optic Gaming. Absolutely not. Optic Gaming clutching up in round 11. Should happen here. Oh my gosh. Formal tries to challenge with a sniper. He does have one. He should be shot in the back in just a second. He is. Karma hasn't finished him yet, though. Now Formal from the other side. Surely Raiden has to die. Surely Raiden oh. has to die. He still have zero. In a one versus He's three, dead. he has bomb, he's being chased, and that is a round to Optic Gaming.
even that was unnecessarily challenged. <laughs> <laughs> he was just pinned in that corner, right. top middle. I guess you get a little bit of respect after you start out 9-0. Ah! Crip's taking matters into his own hands at this point. He's already flooded through the entire map. 26 seconds into the round, he's in their spawn. This is the final kill. Optic with a very clean round to turn things around. There we go. Nice round to try and get back into things. But you still have a lot of streaks on the side of Red Reserve. Scump with the first blood. Scump with the final kill. As he finishes zero. May have gotten Scump at back window if he didn't re reposition to the opposite side. Now things falling apart for Red and Krim. The snapper. Whew. What was that second kill? Let's see this again. Did he hit a hip, hip fire right here? Yep, yes, he certainly did. Great, it's going. What? <laughs> yeah, that, that's one of those ones where you, where you hit that hip fire, just pilot. it seems like you evaporate if you're on the Stunned receiving end of it. Pressure's coming the forward, he's not being pushed in lights yet, but the pressure is going to come. Karma and Krim looking to hit him. Tags one. He's trying to evade, so she's actually getting tagged through the wall, and that's just enough damage to make it a very easy kill. Probably a two bullet for Krim six. Two players left, one player left. It's just on Joe, but there's not a lot of time. There's not a lot of time. Can you get him? Get on the bomb, doesn't have the angle. Joe just has to run for it. Joe not going to get there in time, and Scump's got the cover. Another round for Optic. The momentum beginning to shift. Optic with the retake. Another streak used for naught from Red Reserve. And now Optic have one player, I believe it is Karma, who's one kill off of earning himself multiple streaks. That's true. And, and, true. and Red should know this. They saw Karma earn or get one kill off of the streaks last round. Now they know for sure he's got all sorts of stuff. There we go. Oh, okay, this round's not over. If uh, a streak does get called out now, it's going to be a live bomb. Can I catch zero? Nope, he's playing. Oh, I thought he was far enough in the back. Doesn't appear that he is. Three drop, and Raiden uses the fighter pilot, so you get nothing out of this. I mean, you get a kill, but now you're in a 1v3. Bit more magic, though, but he's Dead. spotted. Round 11. I love it. I love it. Round 11. The famous Crim6 so handshake. What do we still have? Uh, Streak-wise, I think is there flamethrower still... and fighter pilot for optic. Is there one fighter pilot left on red? Or I... I think it's the first time I've actually cast it with two snipers. To be honest with you, I can think of it off the top of my head. Yeah, I think it's a confidence thing. Formal whiffing a couple right there, helping Scump's argument that he's the best sniper in the league. There's one. Fox is just getting flooded with grenades. I was about to say maybe gets away with his life, but Krem hits him on the cross. Whalers, just get out of there, buddy. <laughs> Whalers run. Scump is hunting him. Does anyone on Optic have a stun on? I think 1v1. Mulls and Scump. Uh oh, Scump's been spotted. That grenade may be an issue, but Scump goes for the high ground. Smart play and nice shots there. Wow. That's a good job from Scump. Avoid the grenade, get so, to the high ground. One thing I will say that first blood from Xerox, the reason I asked if anyone on Optic had a stun is because he was running Airborne Hunker. And it obviously have someone in mid ruins like Karma, but because Karma's also running an AR. He doesn't rush there right away, so Krim actually has to expend his nade, worrying about his mid lane being pushed. Nice shot from Scump. Gets it, and able to back away with his large gunfight to take, but he did back Karma down for a moment. Okay. There you go. So, again, right there. Instead of teams wrapping back, you no longer really see this wrap back to the spawn. It's now just an OE and pin them in that back bell area. Think of the gunfights you have to get in if you want to break out of that back belt when you're trying. Give him a chance. He would need the ace here. Spots formal, some nice shots, but he was already tagged up and weak, and he will get cleaned up. Another round there to Optic Gaming. Beautiful stuff for OG. Formal. Doesn't get much easier than that. This round does have an FG42, so it's like oh, oh, oh. two on defense, but Whalers peaks, and Whalers gets the pick. Two versus two to go. He has got to go. And Krem holding a very aggressive angle here. Spots him, tags him, finishes him. Another round for Optic Gaming. It's the beauty of infantry. Krem peeks on out and watch him just slowly strafe back to the left, back in the cover. He's got the extra strafe speed with infantry on. It's the exact goal with Optic Gaming have rotated towards the side. Karma answers back. They on this map with a plant and two first bloods. And wait, Whalers had to have. Did Whalers not have armored on? Unless a second grenade came in, which may have been the case. I mean, they, they triple naded in the one time before. Yeah. Just like that. Three versus two. Optic pushing forward. They know Riskin's close. Playing around him not going for a fuse of any sort. 
23 seconds left. Maul's checking everything. Look, I mean, look, Karma has... Karma, look at this. Oh, that's so smart. Karma just peeks it at the perfect time. He'll just see if he crosses a site. Now he knows he doesn't have to check until a certain amount of time, and he can see it from this area. Oh, my God. There you go. He's got it. GG. I'll pick up 2-0. They dumped. First blood. Oh, 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 second blood scum. Oh, oh, oh. Third blood cream. And it's just fighter all alone. Good night. Round one. Up to gaming. In a matter of five seconds, it goes from a 4v4 to a 4v0. Here's the last kill from Scub. That shot from Formal. That's what I'm talking about on this map. If you're not safe, he will punish you. Buzzo hits his two bullets and Formal still snaps on him there. First blood. We know Scump loves to snipe now. The self-proclaimed best sniper in the league, as I'm sure many <laughs> people don't agree with. And Formal, he's probably sniping over A. There's a shot on the Dens to even it to a 3v3. And, and, and honestly, it's just not a good position at all for Mind Freak here. Well, to game, and they should be able to close this one out. You know, good luck winning a gunfight when they've got an AR hopping up and down, watching this angle. Three versus two. Buzzo's been spotted. Ooh, Ring around the roses does, here. Cut down Krim, but again, across the map, Denzo's by himself with a sniper. Yeah, Formal wisely just backing down. He's been spotted. Take his time. A little bit of a jump shot and takes the helmet straight off of Buzzo. And uh, a round to Optic Gaming. You can see the communication between rounds as well. I don't like that flank with the, with, with the SMG there. No, I, I don't. We, we see like come in here. We're going to see the rotation from Skump and Karma. The question is who gets the next kill? The next kill is, is massive in this one. We're going to see it go down. And it's going to be Karma's fall. Skump answers back with the trade. And now he, oh my oh. goodness, Skump with the FG. And it's all up to Dens. He thought he did enough damage to swap to the pistol, but it wasn't. Thankfully for Dens, he has Mountain. Skump sees him though. Skump sees him. Sniper. Whiffs. Dens with so many close shots in that round. That's one you cannot choke if you're mind free. That's the round which we could be looking back on in about five minutes time and thinking ifs and buts. Absolutely, Momo. Couldn't agree more. And that was a set of play. Look at the two nades landing right as he peeks. Why, why are you even peeking formal? Why are you peeking formal of all people in this cover by yourself? There's the glide bomb, they're trying to secure the round and not very much could be it. Another goes down, it's formal. Just like you said, Jack, he's sat behind a very, very strong position. Dens, streak time for Scum. I think it very well may be, and here we go. The question is, do they have mounted on? They're in cover, I don't think it's gonna pick anyone up, but the bomb will progress. Look at that mini-map, and this is the question, how far can it go? Formal's gonna take Fight down shots. Go. Fight has gotta go. Oh, oh no. Too long. Oh my goodness, he might have an accuracy moment right here. One, two, will he see the third? Formal turns, Formal guns him! He tries to spot the third before he shoots the two and it comes back to bite him there. Optic one round away. What a reaction time for Formal, my goodness. Yeah. A fighter, again, people will say, why didn't he take Scump? It's gonna be Scump. Scump, he wants to end this game. Scump wants to end this game. Three versus two. Dens has been spotted as well. Uh-oh. Shocks answers back to formal. Dens and Shocks. Scum and Karma. Next kill crucial. It's going to be Karma. Shocks has done it once before. He did it on London Docks. Can he pick up the 1v2? Uh, he's revealed his location. And now it's a time game for Seth and Karma. Wiggling back and forward. You've got a feel for Shocks. 20 seconds left. Optic Gaming looking to close this one out. Scums has to go in on the rotation now. 15 seconds. He's got to find one. But surely it's not going to be enough time. And Jack, I think we all know what's coming here. As we do see, no defuse come in. Scump just double checking. And that is going to be the round. A sour ending for my.